After a long season of travelling up and down the continent, the moment is near. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined by Stuart Robson, as always, on these special occasions for commentary. We're getting close to kickoff time in the UEFA Europa Conference League final. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, Derek, we've got two very good teams here. Both like to play on the front foot. Both have some great individuals. This should be a really entertaining game. I'm looking forward to this one. is underway here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks Julian Brandt plays with Torgan Azar on the flanks and lining up through the middle in attack today Erling Haaland Emerson plenty of running room in the wide position now he must favour the cross tremendous challenge well it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it and beating the defender Good defending in the end, and danger averted for now. Torgan Azar. Rice. Holland. Superb stop. Holland and Spurs doing well to win it back pressing high to win the ball and a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up Son this is looking threatening Marco Reus and a chance for them to nudge in front. Oh, a goal for Borussia Dortmund to give them the lead in the final. And how significant could that be in the grand scheme of things here? Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. And so the action continues. Will there be a response from Tottenham now? There needs to be. Bentancourt. Bentancourt. A Spurs free kick it's going to be. Well, not one, Stuart, that's going to live long in the memory. Well, I think the manager might disagree, Derek. Any way you cut it, it's a wasted opportunity. Holland. Back to Holland. And they need to get tighter here. It's such a highly respectable. 
to goalkeeper Hugo Lloris. Kulusevski. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Song. And the flag has been raised here. Well, there can't have been a lot in that. Holland. Holland. Could be. He's blocked it. This attack looks highly promising. Son. Oh, good looking run. Son. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Well, Dortmund just can't dominate the possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Marco Reis. It's with Dahoud. Won it back. Bentancur, Kulusevski, Emerson, Kane, Kane, big chance to get them on terms, well he read that brilliantly at the back, it is going to be a Dortmund free kick, Guerrero and given away by Dortmund Dejan Kulusevski and the Schwarz-Gelben have it back now Brandt Meunier cut again from the flank Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. And a second goal for them here. Fabia. Now Harry Kane. Fabia. Bentancur. Well, the goal disallowed. Offside, Stuart. Yeah, I think everybody switched off there. It was quite clearly going to be offside. Marco Reis. So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. So the second half is underway, and I must say it really was a terrific performance from Borussia Dortmund in the first 45. Marco Reus. And Bellingham. Back to Holland. A really top-notch piece of defending. Bentancur. Dejan Kulusevski. Emerson. Spurs get the advantage from the referee. A creative look about this. But they dealt with the threat first. 
Holland. Hazard. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Dejan Kulusevski. No foul. Spurs advantage. It's a perfect challenge. Advantage Spurs. And space for the cross. Javier. Still a chance. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. Holland. Now Minier. Well, no luck keeping possession. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. So a throw in here. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Sessegnon. Now Son. Bentancourt. Good-looking sequence. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. And played short. Davis. Romero. Not high quality defending. And they'll be happy to have regained possession. Harry Kane. Holland. Really getting stuck in defensively. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Harry Kane. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Bentancourt. Tremendous challenge. Holland. Dahoud. Brandt. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. Bentancourt Steven Bergwijn Harry Kane Went in strongly, decisively And into the last 15 minutes of action well, as we get close to hearing the final whistle, we can reflect on what has been a fabulous display by Dortmund. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need to control possession for these final few minutes to cap off a really good display. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. And Dortmund will go to the bench. Well, the ball is rolling once more, and Borussia Dortmund are really in the mood here. Just ten minutes to go. Kane. It's with Bentancourt. Showing a lot of guile there. Well, then there to tidy up.
Marco Reis. That's how to rob them of possession. We're inside the final five minutes. My goodness, this has not been close at all. Sessegnon. Chance to play it in. They're following the deflection. A corner kick coming up here. Delivering it. Well, the delivery lacked a bit of guile. The referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour. And a good take under duress there. And possession lost, intercepted. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.